Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Saud IT Academy and today I'm going to show you how to synchronize time on your domain client computers using Windows Server 2012 R2. So the following view policies needs to be configured. Uh, number one is configure Windows NTP client, open server manager, go to tools, group policy management. Now go to your domain in my case it is pclab.com so now create a test group policy uh, test group policy object click right click right click and select new just give it a name like time synchronization test click ok so now time synchronization test right click on it click edit now in computer configuration go to policies administrative templates then you have to go to system and expand a little bit scroll down to windows time services double click on it then go to time providers so here are the first three group policies so double click on the first one configure windows ntp client okay so you have to enable it first enable the group policy then here the NTP server you just have to type the IP address of your server so in my case it is 10.1.36.1 okay you are done click apply okay okay in step 2 we have to just enable Windows NTP client policy so let's move on to enable policy Open Server Manager, go to Tools, Group Policy Management, right click on Time Synchronization Test, click Edit, go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, System, Windows Time Services, double click on Time Providers. So, double click on Enable Windows NTP Client select enable apply ok and you are done ok moving on to step 3 enable windows ntp client so we just have to enable this policy as well so let's move on to enable the policy ok so again right click on time synchronization click edit Go to Policies, Administrative Templates, System, Windows Time Services, Time Providers, and the last one is not the last one, sorry, Enable Windows NTP Server. So click Enable, Apply, and OK. So here we are done with the NTP client server settings and configuration in the final step step 4 we need to enable windows time service which by default is disabled and it is mandatory for the time synchronization to work properly so let's enable this and start it automatically go to tool open up your group policy management console so again go to time synchronization test this time we need to go to preferences double click on the preferences then double click on control panel settings and then move on to services right click on services click and sell new service so now we need to select windows time service to start it automatically so in the startup select start up automatically now browse the you know, now browse the service so search for windows time windows time yes here it is double click on it okay so service action start service and click apply and okay now that we have configured and set up all the group policies so we have to link it to our default 
or link it to the group of clients which you have created earlier but in my case I will I want to apply it to all my domain client computers which are a part of my domain so uh, select time synchronization and drag it over to pclab.com now that your group policy is linked properly and applied to all your domain client computers you just need to update your group policy on your server windows server 2012 r2 open cmd type gp update slash ports so what will what will it do is it will immediately apply the policy on all the domain client computers so click enter and the policy will be updated automatically so how to check if time synchronization is working on client computers for this purpose please open cmd on any client computer and type gp update space slash force to apply the group policies immediately press enter and the group policies will will start updating we will wait for the group policies to update successfully so the group policies have completed successfully now we will check if the time is synchronized properly so type w32tm space forward slash query space forward slash status and click enter so here is the IP address source IP 10.1.33.1 this is the IP address of my server and you can see the last successful sync time and date and the source fully qualified domain name of my server as well so thank you for watching see you next time take care